everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video, and in today's video we're going to be talking about credibility. Specifically what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about the credibility that we give to individuals that don't necessarily deserve it. Specifically, individuals such as Hollywood actors and NFL players. Now this is going to be talking a little bit about what's going on with the NFL uh, and the whole kneeling thing during the anthem. And of course, there will also be a few other little things obviously going on just in general. But the idea here is, is that it's not going to be just about the NFL player. It is actually going to be in general credibility uh, that we give to just about everyone who falls under those particular standards. The fact of the matter is, is that these are individuals who are built and made to entertain us. They're not there to actually give us any real information. There's no real reason for them to actually be giving their opinions on different um, actions. They have no education in this particular subject. They have no no real evidence that they're even they even actually believe what it is that they say that they believe. In fact, a lot of times it looks and seems as if the reason why they do the things that they do is purely out of either receiving money for it or out of attention grabbing, because they simply just want to be able to be the ones who say, "Hey, look at me. This is what I believe. Look at my virtue signaling." whatever. A great example of this, of course, would be with the current NFL situation where all, of course, the NFL players are kneeling during the, during the anthem or they are sitting during the anthem or something else along those particular lines because they are trying to do this in a sense of solidarity towards Black Lives Matter. And the fact of the matter is, is that in a lot of situations and in a lot of cases, it's really just it doesn't even seem like they're actually doing it in a sense of really trying to be sol you know, really trying to actually show solidarity to those movements. But instead, they're simply trying to do it as a money grab. I do believe that there is someone out there who has actually made an intelligible comment on this entire situation that goes by the name of Mike Rowe. Most of you may know of Mike Rowe from the show um, Dirty Jobs. The, it was a good show back then, and I believe in, in its own right, the actual job doing that as a career at that particular show gave him an insight into the American people that most stars of his caliber don't actually get. And I think that he made a statement that was very intelligent and very important, and I'm going to link a video that actually goes over his statement a little bit more detailed than I can. Um, but essentially, his overall statement is that he doesn't agree with Trump for saying anything. He doesn't believe that Trump has any right or anything like that to say what he did. And in fact, what he said about the owners of these things firing the NFL players is one of those things where it's stupid, he has no place in this, and honestly, he's only giving his opinion out of an attention grab, not, nothing more. And he also believes that those individuals who do sit down and kneel and everything else along those lines are only doing this out of a sense of attention grabbing. And that in reality, what really matters is what matters within the community. The society that we are there, they are there to entertain is the only one's opinion that actually matters. If enough people suddenly stopped watching football all of those players would start standing again because the owners and everything else along those particular lines would never want that to be the case. They would never, they would want, of course, to be making money. And of course, the NFL players would want to make money. And if they think that any of this has any kind of sense of solidarity towards an actual movement, they're wrong. And it goes off to say that this is a similar thing for most actors. Now, of course, do I actually believe that actors are allowed and have their own opinions? Of course they are. I'm just not going to give them any credence unless I actually decide I want to. The idea here is, is that the reason why I give someone like Mike Rowe some credence and some credibility is because of the fact that he shows in his statement a little bit of a sense of awareness, of self-awareness. And that, in my opinion, is actually very important, especially when it comes to discussing conversations like this. 
the other thing that comes to mind in this situation is, as I said, with actors. The simple fact of the matter is, is that most actors give their opinions because they know that they can influence a large number of people. Because people give actors credibility where they deserve none. Because for some reason, just because they acted and did something in a particular movie or something along those lines makes them suddenly capable of giving you an opinion, an actual well-educated opinion, on a particular subject that has nothing to do with anything that they do. Um, I can't give any great examples because I don't really care about actors very much. I go watch movies, I love movies, but I don't care who it is that's in them. And the fact of the matter is, is that to me, actors, I give no no credential or no credibility most, most of the time to actors because of the fact that, in my opinion, actors are there purely to entertain me. They are clowns, they are puppets, they are jokers. They have no actual standing in my life other than to entertain me. I Sure, I give them a nice... I effectively end up giving them a nice place to live, a lot of money to do what it is that they want to do, and I give them to that because more power to them that they're able to do that. I myself am trying to do the exact same thing, being able to entertain people while also give my own opinion. The only difference is that I try to actually somewhat, somewhat educate myself and allow you individuals to know that I am trying to educate. I'm also giving my opinion on these subjects in a sense that I don't want you guys to necessarily take them and educate them. I only want you guys to think. I, my goal is not here to educate anyone. My goal here is to make end people think. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. That's it. When you see those commercials with actors who just start talking about stuff, they don't look like they're on there trying to make you think about something. To me, it feels like they're trying to educate you. And they're trying to make you think a very particular way. And I just don't feel like that's right. I'm going to go ahead and leave the video there. Certainly hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Uh, if you liked it, go on and hit that like button. If you li really liked it, go on and hit that share button. If you loved it and you haven't already, go on and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. And don't have fun.